Okay, class, now we're going to be looking at pricing. We're going to look at the cost, the target costing pricing situation, and then also the cost plus pricing situation. All right? Target costing, this is when we're a price taker. And when we have a product that's not unique, there's lots of competition out there, and there's nothing really special about our product. Other companies manufacture this product also. Um, it's not a unique product, all right? So what we would do is we'd look at the revenue at market price, because the market price would be set because it's not unique, and then we'd figure out, well, what's the desired profit we want to make, all right? So we take our, the market price minus our desired profit will get us our target total cost for this product, okay? And now what we need to do is we need to determine, can we manufacture this product at that cost, okay? So if we can, then all's good and we'll make that profit when we sell it. However, if, the cost can, if this cost doesn't work, okay, if this cost is, is, uh, isn't going to be enough, then we would either have to cut costs, okay, uh, or we could um, accept a lower uh, profit, okay, if this cost is enough, then we're going to have to increase our costs to manufacture it, so that might dig into our desired profit, all right? So, somehow we might be able to cut costs. If we can't, then we have to look at, well, are we going to accept a lower profit? Or maybe somehow we can differentiate our product or try other strategies. Uh, other strategies uh, like branding or somehow trying to differentiate our product in any way so that we can get it at that cost and get the profit that we want. All right. Now, when we're looking at cost, cost plus pricing, this is for price setters. Okay. Over here is price takers. This is the price setting scenario. Because in this scenario, we have a unique product. Our product is different. We can differentiate it from others. Okay. And there's little or no competition, okay? When that's the case, then, we take our total cost for manufacturing it, and then we figure out what kind of profit we want to make, and then that sets our cost plus price. That sets our price right there. It's the cost plus our profit gets us the price that we'll sell it for, okay? Now, if this price is too much, then we're going to have to somehow, you know, we might be able to adjust these slightly or somehow differentiate our product because maybe there is some competition out there. Maybe someone sells something similar to ours and maybe the market isn't really seeing the differentiation, okay? So if that's the case, then we need to somehow sell that differentiation, okay, so that we can get this cost plus price. And if that's not going to work, then we might need to decrease our profit slightly or somehow adjust our cost, all right? Thanks, class.